Hey guys, what's going on? Matt Kelly here. Now we're starting out this video uh, pretty much running directly on from our last video where we'd applied uh, the thickened resin to the stringer and then the knees that support the stringer. And right now all we're doing is basically going through and, um, and adding a bit of fiberglass to each of these to start the reinforcement process. Hey guys, well one thing I've learned is that when you're fiberglassing at night with gloves on and fiberglass everywhere, it's really hard to keep the camera rolling. So we've missed a couple of, um, of rounds of glassing, but I thought I'd give you a quick update. Um, each one of these ribs now has two to three, in, or two in some areas, three in some areas, uh, coats of actual chop strand and, um, and loaded with glass. This is not, like as much as it is structural, it's really designed to hold them in the right place. This is all gonna get fully glassed into the boat properly. So as much as um, I did wanna have enough on there that it kept them all together, really it's just to provide some initial structure before it goes into the boat and it's gonna get like a whole bunch more. So good step in the right direction, but not, not critical work, but work that I wanted to do anyway. I'm gonna give you a quick look at how it's come together. Um, it's a little bit, a little bit rough in some areas you can see there like this is, this is effectively just a small piece just a rectangular piece it comes in here um it's not designed to cover the exact entire area because like i say it's only designed to hold these pieces together in the short term and hold some glass and this will all get glass into the boat later you can see here it's, it's all in it's all thickened it's all nicely curved around that curved edge i put in this one here's just there's a few little bits here that'll get get trimmed back later but a nice big u shape in there for structure and, um, and as we come around, where well, there's obviously no light, that's an issue, you can see sort of how that looks. So, um, nice big coat. This one actually follows the line all the way up to here. And then a nice big rectangle on this piece. So, yeah, I think it's come together quite well. It's now sitting here to dry. And we'll, um, we'll get it in the boat later. With the wood for the transom in place, now it was time to get layer upon layer upon layer of of chop strand and double bias on there to start thickening it up. At this point, I'm not so worried about getting it down the sides of the boat and on the floor of the boat, but more so just getting it across the wood and over the transom and, um, and then attaching it to the glass on the other side of the boat that was part of that existing shell. Hey guys, what's going on? Matt Kelly here. A, um, an interesting morning this morning. Got two coats of chop strand on the transom. Just wanted to try and get some bulk on there uh, before we go and do the actual uh, woven cloth. Actually came out really, really well. I'm super happy with it. It looks it looks dry on the camera, but I promise you, it's quite um quite glossy and, and wet. So we're good. Now that we've got the transom nice and thick, it's time to start to add a nice fillet, which is basically just thickened resin, right around the edge of the transom, so that we've got a nice curved edge to glass to.
And then we start applying layers of glass that are going to go right across the entire transom, over the transom, and then down to the floor and down the sides of the boat. Hey guys, what is going on? Matt Kelly here. Now, I, I have to apologize. I actually don't know which video this is, this, this is going to appear in. I'm not quite sure where I'm up to. It's been two weeks since I last posted a video, and that is bad, because I was maintaining a very good schedule on this boat. But the truth is, I have not stopped working. I just haven't been filming as much, mostly because it's been a draining process of glassing a little bit, letting it set, glassing a little bit, letting it set. Also got the flu real bad, so, um, so I've had really like a couple of weeks of just you know, at night, come in, do a little bit of work, and then get out of here and stop breathing in fiberglass fumes. So, with that, I wanted to tell you guys that um, it's currently early July. I have just completed, as of right now, glassing in the transom. Now, we've done, oh gosh, probably three coats of 300, 300 gram chop strand, and then I've done maybe, oh gosh, I'm way overkill, maybe four or five coats of 450 gram uh, double bias, actual like stitched cloth. And, um, and then what I've done is I've also cut sort of small sections to basically tab in each section over and over again to sort of to different points so that I can get multiple layers, get it really thick and strong, and also to make sure it actually like adheres to the sides and the bottom of the boat really, really well. Because the last thing I want, and I'm sure the last thing any of you guys want, is this boat go in the water, me slam the throttle on a, on a nice outboard, hit a wave, and then have the whole thing just collapse. Now, there's no chance of that happening at this point. This I have loaded this thing way, way overkill. The transom at this point is probably about an inch and a half thick, and um, and I've based on all my research, you know, I could put a much bigger outboard on this boat than I intend to, so that's really, really good. I've also put in the two really quite, quite thick, strong knees into the transom, so they go right down to the bottom of the boat, and then we'll probably do a bit of work to actually attach that to the stringers as well, just to give the whole boat a nice line of rigidity. So, all in all, it's come together quite nicely. Um, it's not ready by any means. It, there's, there's been um, a few little hold-ups and things that I've had to learn while I go. Fiberglassing is new to me, and I've said this before, I'll say it again, do not use this as a tutorial because I do not know what I'm doing. So many of you guys have given me awesome feedback in the comments around what I should and shouldn't be doing. That's been really useful um, because in many cases you'll give me feedback before I actually get up to that point in time in the project. So um, that's been great. Anyone who's got feedback, keep it coming because that's really good. Um, as of right now, um, we've got to look at getting the stringers in. Um, once this, this current set is dry, I'll do a very, very light setting in a couple of areas where there's a little bit that's poking up, and then I'll be flow coating uh, the inside just to basically let that polyester resin properly harden. I've had no problem with it going hard without that, but I know that that's, sealing it from the air is gonna do that one step better to lock it all down. So I will be doing that. Um, in the short term, that'll be below the uh, the floor level because then I'm gonna be glassing the floor up the transom and up the sides of the boat. So obviously, I don't wanna flow coat all the way up the sides of the, the transom because I wanna be able to come back and um, and then glass at the top of that. So I'm just gonna do that, that lower section before the floor actually drops in and then I'll have a nice clean uh, resin sur surface, or glass surface, to find glass the floor up onto. Um, coming together well, all in all, coming together well. Um, not quite the progress that I thought I would make in my last restorations where they've been purely cosmetic, no transom, no stringers, no floor. Um, obviously, or the first I did a floor, but it was sort of a false floor over the top of a subfloor on top of the existing floor. Um, Structural work takes a lot longer. That's been a big learning for me here. So I haven't been able to just sit down and bash it out. It's been, let's learn how to do this properly because like I say, I don't want to get in the water and then have it crack or have it separate or have any issue. And I can confidently say now there is no chance of that happening because I've gone above and beyond and used way, way more resin than is required. I've actually had to order more resin. So I'll go through 20 kilos of resin in this boat um, or maybe not quite that much, but I'll go through a lot, a lot more than is required but I really want to get it done properly so get a nice solid floor down there get um get everything done properly and just get it thick and solid and then know that that's never ever going to be an issue and I can take it out in any conditions I'm not going to be worried about hitting a big wave and smacking down and breaking the floor whatever so anyway 
Um, I'm going to show you what we're up to right now, and then we'll work out next steps. But thanks heaps for tuning in to the, all the episodes, giving me all the comments, giving me all the thumbs up, and, and subscriptions you guys have given me. We've got a couple hundred subs since I started this series, so I really appreciate that. And um, yeah, let's keep at it. Cheers. So as you can see here, the two big knees that run from the transom down to the, the actual hull itself, um, they're what you would probably call overkill. Uh, certainly uh, far bigger than I think any comes standard, but um, but I figured that why not, right? We've got the, the wood, I've got the glass, so let's just load it right up so that no point in the future is this ever gonna be a problem, a risk, an issue. So um, they got glued down with a thickened resin uh, using aerosol to thicken it and then glued in and then smoothed off corners and then multiple coats of um, of resin on top of that to soak into the plywood and then multiple coats of the 450 gram chop strand uh, 450 gram uh, double bias from there across onto the back of the boat to basically lock it all down so those things are not going anywhere they are now a permanent fixture in this boat the floor itself has been all ground back and then so I had a nice solid surface a nice roughed up surface to glass the transom down smooth to so did that nice smooth run all the way along the bottom with some thickened resin up the sides with some thickened resin so that I had a really, really smooth surface to attach to. And then basically then just brought all these curved surfaces down. Um, I've done one massive coat of the actual fiberglass cloth over the whole back of the boat. Um, what I was doing is I was cutting small sections, uh, probably a foot long and half a foot wide, and then just sort of tabbing them in. So you can sort of see a line here, a line here, where there's a, a particular section that it, that's been glassed in, and then sections, so they all overlap. My logic there was, rather than doing multiple coats of just one massive sheet, it was like, well, if I get the same volume, but in many small sheets, it might help it to lock it all together better. Not necessarily the way that, um, that you're taught to do it, I'm not sure, but it definitely was the way that I thought it would come off best. So that's what I've done there. And then, like I say, one big piece, so a big piece there, a big piece there, and a big piece at the end, over the top of all of it with plenty of resin to lock everything down in one final piece. So, um, so I'm pretty happy with how it's come out. Um, it comes down over this side and tapers down onto the back of the boat. So obviously when I do ultimately flip it over and to do paint on the, the hull, this will all get sanded back slightly, not too much. I want to keep as much thickness there as I can, but slightly so that I've got a nice smooth surface right up to the edge. I have actually put the, the the actual deck shell down over this, and this is as absolutely thick as uh, it'll, it'll allow me to. In fact, I actually had to force it down over this to get it to actually uh, push in. So I had to actually force it with, I don't know, probably 50, 60 kilos to make it push over this edge. So I know this is as thick as I'm ever gonna be able to get the transom with the current fit out of this boat. But all in all, I think it's worked quite well. So I'm really happy with how that's all come out. Um, it's certainly not been, the easiest process in the world but i think i've done a reasonably good job i'm certainly happy with the the solid nature of it and the rigidity it's not going anywhere we start the process of adding the stringer by cleaning up first of all with acetone just to get anything off there that shouldn't be there Thickening up the resin. And then piping it, like you're piping icing on a cake or frosting on a cake, piping it down the um, the centre of the boat and underneath where the knees will be. The stringers drop right in over the top of them and then we start glassing it in.
All right, well, I'm gonna call it a day. I've just dropped the, the stringers all the way in, which are working really, really well. It looks like it's just um, attached nicely. And I have uh, just tabbed in with some small pieces of chop strand, a couple of the horizontal pieces all the way down the length of the bow, just so that um, the boat effectively doesn't move from here. Cause I didn't want to leave it, leave it in there sort of while it dries. I wanted it to, to, to dry in the right place. So what I've done is I've come along and um, you can't really see it, but there's chop strand there, there, inside, so the full U shape, onto the outside, and then also at the back of the boat here. I've also filled the gap between the the end of the stringer and the transom, so that'll get all glassed in really solidly, which will be good. So they've all been tabbed down for now. I haven't done the front, but that's okay. Um, really, all I wanted to do was get enough in there that it started to, when this dries, it dries solid and in the right place, and um, and I think it will. So. All in all, very happy with that. A, uh, another successful session, and um, we're making progress now, which is great. So, thanks again for tuning along. Make sure you leave us a like, give us a comment, and let us know what you think. Uh, don't forget also to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Matt Kelly, I'll see you guys real soon. Cheers.